Jake, I think we need this thing. We'll trade the uh, KTM straight up for it. Now you guys heard my plan on what I want to do with this thing. I want to disassemble it more than I did the Honda. Looks like it's torn down more than the Honda. I took the shock out, ended up getting the carburetor out, and that's what it looks like. There, my camera finally adjusted. This adjustment screw has the spring, but it doesn't have the washer. And that adjustment screw goes right there. So that might have been screwing us up because it fell right out. It wasn't screwed in. There's a reason why I don't like to speak about the future in my videos. And the fact is that I don't like to say something and basically document it and promise it and then and not go through. Because what I'm doing is I'm having second thoughts on each one of these bikes, the Kawasaki and the Honda. And then I'm thinking maybe I should put two new shims in. And then the other thing is, is the intake valves on the Honda, they both read zero. I'm thinking about just shimming those instead of getting new valves. I know what I said before about the material becoming weaker and the valves becoming weaker and not seating right and that stuff. But the thing is, is shims are cheap. Now if I go ahead and shim the bike and then it stays in tolerance, then it tells me that the valves are good. Of course there'd have to be a riding period throughout that you know, experiment. Say I went out for a three hour ride or a five hour ride or a 10 hour ride or rides and I came back and the valves were in tolerance every time, that's telling me that the valves are good. If I decide to take the Kawasaki, do I have the time and are the stores open for me to get the shims? Or do I run it with the shims that I have in it and the carburetor adjustment screw the way it is? I understand it doesn't have to be perfect because it wasn't perfect when I wrote it the last time. I like to have my stuff as good as I can, especially when I dig into it. If I don't know about it, then I just keep running it, keep running it. But once I know, it's, it's just that peace of mind you wanna pay for. Kawasaki or Honda, son of a The third option is, is I just don't go to the hair scramble and I put both these bikes back efficiently. You know what, we're just gonna go with the Kawasaki. That's all there is to it. I, it whether we have to go through hell or whatever, that's what we're gonna do. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm getting freaking frustrated, man. Really frustrated. I got the carburetor all clean and put back together. All I have to do is put the fuel lines back on and the runoffs and everything like that and then I can reinstall it on the bike. It is 2 o'clock the day before the race. Jake the Toilet Snake is here. He does not know that I'm in the garage. He'll be out here soon. This is what the bike currently looks like. The hot start's giving me problems. There's just not enough space to get my big fingers into that tiny space. I need to put that on. Jake brought some shims. Not sure if I'm going to be able to use them. Like I said previously, I don't want to say what we're going to do or how far we're going to get because I don't want to promise you guys what we're doing because I don't want to disappoint you guys. Isn't that right, Jake? Yep. This uh, is what the bike looks like. You got it all torn down. Yeah, way further than the Honda. The Honda's still torn down pretty good, though. This The, the hot start's not going in. Do you have this thing back together, dude? Probably not. We're not gonna have. We're not gonna make this happen, are we? Is this gonna be a team effort? Should I put the camera away? Probably. <laughs> you got. You guys heard it. Jake said, "Put the camera away." I have to listen to him. He's the boss. <laughs> Clean the air filter, huh? Oh, that's already popping with brighter colors already. Yeah, a little. That did a lot. Thanks, Jake. Just clean that out with some gas. Yep. Sweet. Jake and I are both dressed pretty warm because fall and winter, winter's upon us now. We're gonna have snow flying, no good. If there's enough snow for snowmobiling, then we'll appreciate it, but if there's not, just not enough for that, then snow's a pain. I got the carb in. There's a problem though. Throttle. Oh, well I unhooked it. But what was happening was I gunned it like that, and then it would stay. Well, now it's working. Okay, there you go. It sticks wide open, and that's no good, because if I fall off the bike or I don't pay attention, then I'm going to be flying into trees and everything. So I'm going to take care of that before we completely reassemble this thing. No. Going to pan for gold after? <laughs> See, now it's working. What the hell? Jake, should I take it apart? Well, hook it back up and it still Yeah, now it's working flawlessly. I just don't want it to buck me off. We got the carb out. I gotta check the slide. The slide's not working right. Jake said he had diarrhea today. I did not. <laughs> My stomach has been off though. Mine has too. 
I put carb cleaner on something I wasn't supposed to put carb cleaner on. Now the slider isn't working as good as it should be. So we're gonna have to modify that because I don't think we're gonna be able to get parts today. So right here, this is what we're dealing with. This thing right here, this touch carb cleaner and it kind of expanded and now it's no longer as tight as it should be. That's what's holding us back from being able to slide really well. See, sometimes what you can do is when you do something like that is you can put it out in the sun and sometimes the sun will shrink it back. But we don't have the sun right now. That thing's gone away until next summer, <laughs> next spring. So here's the difference. Before it didn't want to snap back down, but now it snaps back down. So what this O-ring's doing is it's putting too much pressure in between the slide here and causing too much friction. So we have to fix this. Chicky, check it out. We got it to work. The trick is, is if you put carb cleaner on something that you're not supposed to put carb cleaner, like, like myself, and you screw it up for you know just a second, hurry up and put water on it as soon as possible. Uh, took a paper towel to it, tried to take off all the carb cleaner that I could, and then take it over to a heater and uh, just let it sit for a little bit. And hopefully, usually, gaskets or rubber o-rings or stuff like that it shrinks and now it works like new so now we can reinstall this carburetor get this dirt bike on the road and uh jake the toilet snake is patiently waiting and being a wonderful cameraman so yep. jake i really appreciate that i really appreciate the help yep um i still got i still owe him lunch for yesterday for helping me put the tire on oh yeah so uh maybe we'll get some lunch a little bit so we got the carburetor back in, it's sliding very good. It's gonna slide even better once the machine's actually running and there's some force pressing on the throttle slide. At least we hope. I'm gonna reinstall the shock and make sure to grease every bolt that touches it. So we don't have that little irritating squeak. I hate that little irritating squeak. I don't like grease all over my fingers. I don't know how Jake likes it all over his. I'm just gonna put some gloves on, Jake. How does that make you feel? Well, now it should all be downhill. Seth said to bring ratchet straps. He left all of his in the Jeep. Come on, Seth. Luckily, we got Seth covered. I don't really understand why he doesn't ride the bike out here, but... Why don't you suggest that to him? Did you suggest that to him? No. Well, call him up. Tell him to get the old YZ on the road. He can take the railroad tracks all the way here. It'd just be a very bumpy and long ride. Jake and I are gonna go to the automotive parts store. We're getting a spark plug because mine looks horrendous. And you know what? Spark plugs are cheap. Dalton wants to win the whole shot tomorrow. Oh, I'm gonna win the whole shot. I didn't even mention to these guys why the whole shot is so important. Not because it's gonna, you know, you're in first, but what what else uh what else do the riders benefit from getting the first turn there, Jake? A monetary award. Monetary award! Yes. That sounds good. Hey, there's a water heater there. I'm gonna pick it up. It's free. Yeah. Scrap. And you got the bike in the back. Oh. Yeah, probably would fall right out. Monetary value, what is the cash value there, Jake? I believe it's a hundred dollars. A hundred dollars! One Chris Benjamin Franklin. The funny thing is, is if I do get it or you get it or whatever, I will probably have as much money as I put into the bike to get that $100. <laughs> and if I took the Honda and it does end up being bad valves, then I would have had, you know, three or four times the amount of money to get the whole shot. I, I probably won't win it. Jake, I wish you luck, but I don't think I'm gonna. We'll try. I'm getting a spark plug and if they have air filter oil, air filter, Right? Is that, isn't that what it's called? Yeah. Air filter, lube, or oil, whatever it's called. Jake, are you gonna win the 100 bucks? Probably You're not. gonna try though, I'm right? Try. Oh, yeah. I think the KTM owners that have electric start are gonna have the advantage. Exactly. Exactly. Jake, I think we need this thing. We'll trade the uh, KTM straight up for it. No. I'll, I'll ask the guy. I don't want to do Maybe that. you can race for slips <laughs> or pinks. Yeah, I think you I think you might beat them. <laughs> It'd be a close one. We went to the automotive shop. Struck out twice. Didn't have either item. We're gonna call a guy, see if he's got a spark plug. Spark call has been forward. Three strikes, we're out. Yeah. No, we don't really need the, the air filter oil on this race because it's not gonna be 
dusty at all. It's gonna be muddy. There's not gonna be anything that really goes into the air filter. So that's not bad. But we do need the spark plug. Well, I do want the spark plug. Do you need the spark plug? Do I need the spark plug? Does your old spark plug still fire? It does. But it fires well though. Yes, exactly. On the spark scale, it's not quite the blue spark. It's a little bit of the more yellow spark. Not as sparky. We need to get sparky. 